All right, let's try these problems as a summary to the Z type 1 problems. What makes them Z type 1? Well, it's because I'm given the Z score, little z, here, and I'm asked to compute the probability. So that's a Z type 1 problem. And it involves me going directly onto the tables into the margin of the table to find this value. Um, remembering though that the tables only give the area on the left. So this actual question is asking for the area on the right. So we learned the way to deal with that is to change the direction and the sign and I should get the same answer. So that now I'm looking on the the positive table because um, this is now a positive value and I'm going to go to the left. Well, that's what the table gives me, always the area to the left. In other words, it gives me percentiles. 2.81 is just about here, let's say, because it's um, it needs to be 2.81 standard deviations uh, above the mean of zero. Looking that up in our tables, we get 0 0.9975. Remembering that this will give us the area to the left. And that is our answer. Okay, what about the second one? Here is uh, the standard normal density that I've extended the tails out. Note, if you didn't realize, the actual tail never touches the, um, the axis. So there's always a small chance, however small, that there'll be an observation out there. But we're only using up to zero, sorry, four decimal places. So if something is smaller, if an area is smaller than 0 .0000, 000, we're going to just call the value 0. If we were to plot, let, let's say this is negative 4 here, and positive 4 here, and I want the area in between, How would I figure that out? On my negative table, the table only goes up to negative 3.49. Remember that we discussed this. To the left of negative 3.49, the area was given in the table, and I said anything smaller than that, we're going to say the area to the left is zero. And you can see that there's really nothing here. The point being the number would be smaller than 0.000. .000. Zero. It might be, um, might exist, but with very small. It'll exist, but with very small probability. What about the other side? Four. At four, going to the positive table, four is not there. What's the largest number? However, the largest number is three point four nine. And what is the area to the left of three point four nine? Well, it's given in the table as point nine 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 eight. Any number larger than 3.49, like 4, we would say that the probability of being to the left of that would be 1. Using the same rule when we're, that's as we have before for calculating the, the area between two Z scores, um, we would take the larger one minus the smaller one. It's simply 1 minus 0. Or you could say that's 1 or 100 percent. Let's do the next problem. At 1.8 and negative 1.8 would be maybe here and here symmetrically and this problem is actually asking for the area out here. Remember, we saw something like this and it's because the word or. 
We know that we want the tail probabilities. Mm. To get at the tail, if I was to look up this value, I would get the area on the left, which is directly read from the table, right? Because the tables give areas to the left. Let's do that. That, that area is 0 0.0359. Is that our answer? Well, no, because that just gives us this area. But we need also this area here. Due to the symmetry, however, we know that this is identical in the tail. So all we have to do really is multiply that amount, 0 0.0359 by 2, to get our answer. 2 times 0 0.0359 is going to be 0 0.0718, or in other words, 7.1. 8%. Let's try the last problem. This question is asking for the area between these two said scores. Okay, so remembering what we learned about the tables. The tables give the area to the left of the z-score. So, the area to the left of a negative uh, 3.81 is not on the table because the smallest number is negative 3.49 that's on the table. So we said that any number smaller than negative 3.49 will have an area to the left of zero. Looking in the table for negative 2.01, we find the area is 0 0.0222. And so we can calculate using the big minus small approach, the big number minus the small number, and in this case the big number is 0 0.0222 corresponding to negative 2.01 standard deviations from the mean, minus 0. The answer is 0 0.0222 or 2.22 percent.